Welcome to today's vlog. I'm sending y'all down. So I'm currently finishing up an Instagram story that I need to you guys to sign up and get more post. So I'm pretty much sharing all of the information for the trip that I mentioned uh, in one of my most recent videos. If you have no clue what I'm even talking about, I am putting together a trip, a vacation. Yes, a vacation literally the just that uh with some of you guys it's finally in the works i got really really good feedback on the survey i got over 600 600 responses of people that were interested in going on this trip uh, now this is going to be a very intimate trip max spots that i have available for this trip 24 out of 600 people that are interested so i'm pretty much writing out all of the details if you are interested at all, uh, best place to get the most information and quickest information is going to be on my Instagram. So I mentioned in my video, if you don't have an Instagram, but you're interested in this, just to make an account just for this trip and then you can delete it after uh, whether you go on the trip or not. Uh, it's just the easiest because I can't really like make a YouTube video and post it on here as quickly as I can just hop on my Instagram story. Um, but I'll share some details right now. Let me just finish this real quick. Okay, there my stories are now all up So I ended up getting insanely good results and feedback and responses in that survey So the survey pretty much asked, you know, where are you interested in traveling? What's your budget? Uh, what kind of activities are you into? It was it easy but detailed enough for me to figure out, okay, where should I go? Where should I pick? After looking at the different itineraries and just different options and different places to go and places you guys were interested in, I narrowed it down to uh, planning a trip to Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. And that is where we're going to be going. So I already have the activities. I already have the, um, I have it right here actually, like what's included in the trip um all of that and i was sharing on my story how i get, first of all i can't even believe this is a thing can we just take a second to like think about that like i'm about to first of all i'm about to go to the dominican republic young sabrina never thought she would be traveling period let alone going to dr or anywhere that i've been to so far it's insane to think about like and I don't want to get too like deep, but it's insane to think about things that I used to look at and think were so unattainable and to sit here and be able to do them. And this experience is going to be something I get to experience with all of, well, not all of you guys, but with eight to 24 of you guys, it's just like, it's mind blowing. And I feel like I don't take a lot of time to like really sit and think about what I'm accomplishing and doing as just like an average gal <laughs> it's crazy it's really freaking insane and this is a pinch me moment for real and i'm just so i haven't even gone to my dms because i know when i go to read some of the responses of you guys wanting to go on this trip i'm gonna be so overwhelmingly excited and happy but i just i'm excited because this is gonna be the perfect opportunity for me to uh, hang out with you guys on a not so polished perfect setting this is just going to be us going on a freaking trip together and having fun this is not something where i want it to be so planned out so strategic so come meet me because i've done very intimate meet and greets before and 
they were great but i just there's something about a meetup or a meet and greet that just feels very polished and like come hang out with me and it's about me and i don't want this trip to be that i want this to be a bonding experience a let's all go somewhere and have freaking fun together and that's exactly what this trip is is giving and i was saying on my story how this trip um with some of the activities that are on here because for me i'm the type of girl that i you know like to be very like domestic i like to cook and organize and um you know girl next door i feel like i'm the girl that's like okay you can take her out to a nice dinner you can take her home to meet the parents but i'm also the type of girl that i love to go out i love to have fun all of that so in this trip this is going to be all of that and it's going to embody all of that so uh two of the like sneak peek activities that i mentioned uh we're going to be going to a cooking class out in punta cana um not sure exactly what we're going to be cooking yet but we're going to be doing a cooking class and if you watch my videos you know i love to cook i love food i've been so into trying new foods lately and then on the other hand which is like total opposite of that uh we're going to be going to a beach club in punta cana to go out have fun and just live life and enjoy one thing about me if you take me out if you take me to a family party doesn't matter what family party i'm gonna dance and i don't care if anybody else is dancing or not i'm i'm gonna have fun so that this trip is gonna be just very me very us because i know that a lot of you guys follow me because of the things that i'm interested in you guys are interested in as well uh, we have similar tastes similar experiences a lot of you guys out there are also latina or mixed like i am black and latina um so i i just think this trip is going to be again a perfect representation of who i am and what i've brought to my platform and my my little space here on the internet so to be able to share that with y'all is going to be very different and exciting i'm just i'm really looking forward to it so um yeah if you're at all interested in that that trip i already shared the details on my instagram story but i also have a highlight just go on my instagram page and you're gonna see a little highlight with palm trees that says uh, right now i have it named travel with me but i think i'm going to change it to dominican republic or punta cana um, and you click on there and all of the information is on there as well as what's included in the package for this trip and all of that stuff but um i can't believe it i'm just like to be presented with an opportunity like this is just insane in freaking insane <laughs> that's all i have to say so if you've been wondering you know if this trip is coming to life or what what the tea is yes we're going on a trip but yeah that's why i got myself nice and done up today i don't know exactly what i have planned for right now i wanted to go to crate and barrel so bad because there are two things i want to add to my apartment uh but i might go tomorrow but i don't know if i'm gonna go get them today or not i was actually on etsy looking at cute home decor because like i was saying in my last home decor video i want to add pieces of me in my apartment i don't want my apartment to be don't get me wrong i love a clean modern uh simplistic look and feel and very monochromatic uh, but i also want to add some character to my place and i want people to walk in and say like oh this is so you like you live here with that i want to add just pieces of my culture in my place here and there and um i found like this cute round it's technically i think a placemat for like your plates like to put your plate on when you're eating but i want to use it for my coffee bar station and i might want to get some similar ones to put maybe somewhere in my bedroom or something and then there's an art piece that i need to order on etsy that i want to print out really big and it has like a little pop of color in it and it's um i think the painting is a location in mexico um so and then i showed you the lanterns that were made in mexico that i got um these right here that are on the ground uh made in mexico as well and then i also want to add some some other pieces in here that are more uh tuned in and tied to my black side just like me who i am you know things that i am interested in and whatnot uh so yeah 
I don't know if I'm gonna go today or tomorrow, but I know for sure one thing I'm gonna do today is go to the gym. Um, I was also sharing on my story the other day that one of the goals I had set myself, set for myself for this month was to get back on uh, my work-ish. So I finally sh had a shoot and I posted some really good content on my Instagram, some, some fashion girl looks. And then I just bought a bunch of workout clothes. I should probably do a haul in this video because I bought stuff from Amazon, Lululemon, I forget where else, but a bunch of new workout things uh, to keep me motivated for this month. And I've actually been consistent since end of January. Um, this past week, I finally went to the yoga classes that they have here in my uh, apartment building. So every week they have yoga classes three times a week. I've been going there. I've been really enjoying it. And then the other days I just go to the gym and like lift weights today I'm kind of thinking of going in and doing arms and back and then Going to the cycle class and getting in my cardio and stretches. So I think that's what especially because we're gonna be going on this trip We got to We got to be looking and feeling good. Let me show you the piece of art that I'm thinking of getting I don't know where I would put these but I like this print right here why is this? Oh, I'm like, why is my waist that on? I like this to put somewhere. So this one says melanin. And then I have this other one that says woman. So melanin woman. And I, I think those are nice because they're just black and white. And I can stack them on top of each other. Maybe like in my bedroom or in my closet or somewhere. I also like this one. I would get it without the name on there because you can put your name on there if you want to or custom name but this is an african woman canvas and i just love the way this looks and the colors just look incredible can you even see that there you go it's flowers and then you just see the brown skin and it just it's perfect my phone's ringing hold on there's that piece but i also kind of like this piece and i'm going to show you why in a second this one is freaking stunning and i like it maybe a little more because it has color um and it looks like that i like the magenta uh pop that's in there and then the yellows this i would also blow it up and put it i just don't know where i want to put this stuff i just know that i like it and then the one that i was mentioning earlier that is so this it was taken while they were on a walk in la paz baja california in mexico and it was there were a lot of beautiful old things colorful streets doors and windows and they spotted this wooden door on a blue wall with palm trees near the malecon and it looks just like this and it is the photo is absolutely stunning as well and the reason i like this one with the other one that had the magenta color was because there's also a pop of magenta in this one so this one i'm kind of thinking of putting it in my kitchen where my flowers are there's like a big bare wall i'm thinking of putting it there uh or blown up above the toilet in my bathroom there's that big old wall that's empty there or on the wall next to the bathroom mirror there's another wall um like if you're sitting on the toilet it's on the right hand side there's a wall that's empty that can blow it up and put it there as well so those are the paintings that i have in mind or the pictures and photos that i have in mind to put around here and then i want to add actual objects so i'm thinking as far as objects i um uh, found these i don't know if i'm gonna get them on here or not but these clay pottery vases in mexican culture clay and pottery is a uh, huge like it's everywhere and so i found these that seemed really pretty they have like these little holes um but they're also a nice spin to more of a modern take on ollas and pottery things like that and then either this one or this candle but i wouldn't really burn the candle i would just have it for decor and it's 90 dollars, which is fine because it's a small 
it's a small business um, and the candle's stunning but i'm just like am i gonna have it open on display um because look at how it looks so i feel like in order to really see the the beauty of the candle you have to have it open and i'm like where would i kind of have that sitting uh, where it would kind of make sense and I feel like because the candle's so nice I wouldn't actually want to burn it because then what like I like how the inside of the candle looks um, so I'm thinking of maybe just getting the the jarra or the vases um, and I've been trying to find stuff like this in store maybe like home goods stuff but honestly I feel like the best bet is going to be going a small small shop slash business route so the, the thing i was talking about that i want to add to my coffee station is this back here i want to add that circle to the back of my espresso to add more of that uh textured feel and more of a spanish feel as well and i want i want to make my coffee bar area pretty much look look similar to this with just the different aspects there so that's kind of what I have uh, in mind. And yeah, so that's a, a quick home decor chat. Uh, let me tidy up in here and figure out what I'm about to do. If I'm gonna go to the store, to the gym, or if I'm gonna cook, or what the deal is. It is cold. I am gonna go to Crate and Barrel. Get the thing that I want for my coffee area. Oh. I made a to-do list of things I need to do. I need to order the home decor from, let's see. I'm like, trying not to move because I don't want to get makeup all over my sweatshirt. I need to come home, change my nail polish. I need to clean out my drawers in my closet again. And don't organize my coat, coat closet area order my Etsy decor and then I need to go to Target to get some stuff for the house and I need to go to Crane Barrel to get the decor stuff. I also want to look for some vases for some candles that I have. I don't know if this sweater is going to work because I can't I feel like I have to move like this because I don't want to get makeup on the neck part of this or the hoodie part of this because of my neck. If I turn, it's gonna like smear makeup on it. Mm. I'm actually pretty proud of myself because I have not really ate out all week. I've been cooking a lot at home. And so tonight, I'm gonna order. I'm gonna order in. These are on my grocery list for Target. More pods. I only have one left. I only have one. is out here and i'm not even that far from where i used to live but i am having such a hard time finding nail salons that do a good job at a basic gel manicure like i don't ask for anything extra and I've, I've already gone to like three or four nail salons out here and i don't like the way they do it, it it's very thick bubbly my fingers look like just like little marshmallows and where i used to go they used to shape them really well and sharp but i asked for a square round and they just look like um you're not gonna be able to see at all but they just look like little bubbles like little round it's really hard to explain but compared to how i used to get them done i'm just kind of like and they're thick the nail polish is like all the way first world problems but yeah i'm gonna come home take my nail polish off and just shape them and polish them myself i bought a gel polish kit 
like the light, the gel polish, all of it. I bought it all on Amazon a few months ago and I just, I'm gonna use that. I tried it like once and I didn't love how I did it, but I didn't take my time either. So we're gonna come home and shape and polish these nails because somebody's gotta do it. And it's crazy because I paid it's crazy because it's crazy because I paid $85 for a well technically I got a fill uh, because I had acrylic before and I like the look that a fill gives I mean acrylic gives and then I get them shaped very naturally but $85 for a fill and it's just a basic polish is to me that's too much that's insane I pay $85 for a whole set where I used to go it doesn't even make sense and I, they do an incredible job every time so lesson learned uh, that's what happens when you're a trial and error type of bee because I let me tell you I'm a trial and I will go try new places and it don't even make no sense like we think I learned my lesson and stick to what I know I don't know what it is though I like trying new places anyway so that's what's on the to-do list for today. Nothing crazy. We'll see how long I last in this rain. I don't know what it is about the rain that makes me just want to go out and do some shopping and be out and about. You would think it would make me want to stay home, but it quite honestly does the opposite. I know it's not just me. Oh, I don't even have enough. Okay. So I guess I'm gonna do Oh, and, and I'm not sure how that's gonna taste, but we shall see. I surprisingly don't make coffee at home every day. So this creamer's been lasting me, but this one I got it at Whole Foods Honest to Goodness Dairy Creamer. This creamer is so freaking good. It's a dairy creamer. I'm not very much like anti-dairy. I love it all. So this is really, really, really good. And I typically do the, I don't have it right now. Oh yeah, I do. I usually do this one. And I love this one too, the sweet cream one. Or I will do the French vanilla just from coffee mate this one simple ingredients i think i told you guys in my other vlog it's just skim milk organic cane sugar cream natural flavor and vanilla extract That's it. and it foams like a mud look at how thick it gets like automatically it's probably not all gonna fit Perfect every single time.
explain to me how I forgot my wallet at home. Thank goodness for Apple Pay because I got to the register and I was like, where's my wallet? I left it in my fanny pack. I left it in my fanny pack. Oh gosh. Luckily, I'm not really buying anything where I need my business card or else. I mean, technically, I could have put this on my business card because I use all this stuff for vlogs. And, um, to make it look super aesthetic and cute. But I ended up just. Yeah, like a lot of this stuff and like home decor stuff. Technically, because I film hauls and I buy a lot of stuff to make my home look nice for content, I'm able to write this stuff off. So I could have honestly put most of this on my business card but i don't even have it with me it's a crazy part so luckily i did have a gift card um i had a gift card that had like 35 dollars left and then i just put the rest on my personal card that i have on my apple pay and then what i'm getting at target is not stuff that i need for work it's stuff that i need for home so i don't even need to worry about putting that on a business card at all i need to get raspberry syrup for my san pellegrino drink so i bought this one that's like peach and something else and i feel like it needs just a little little smidge of syrup like raspberry syrup or peach syrup I might do raspberry or peach we'll see what they have at the store but just like a pump and it, i think it'll add the perfect amount of sweetness because i have the san pellegrino blood orange one and that one's good obviously has more sugar in it so it tastes better but I think if I'm able to add just a little pump of like peach or raspberry syrup to the peach one that I have oh, it would be such a good little mocktail feel so yeah that and then I need to get just plain old salt raspberry leaf tea for when that time of the month comes I heard that raspberry leaf tea really helps with cramping and things like that so i want to have those on deck for when my cycle comes again nespresso pods mouthwash paper towels and toilet paper what's going to be interesting right now is paying for this parking because i don't have my card that's going to be it says it's two hours free so hopefully it just lets me ride out because I wasn't even in here for like an hour, not even close. I'm at the Crate and Barrel in Beverly Hills. I didn't realize that there were other shops out here, but they're all outdoor shops. And because it's raining, it's probably not smart for me to be walking around. But there's like a pottery barn. There's an aloe yoga. There are like a lot of other stores that I would like to see. But I didn't know it was all outdoors, so... I don't even have my business card anyway, so it doesn't even matter. And most of the clothes that I buy, I write off because I use it for content. Perfect. It didn't charge me. All right, let's go to Target. <laughs> Hopefully no one thinks I'm leaving because I want to sit in my car. I'm going to use up all the 38 minutes I paid for for this parking. So I'm going to eat in my car. I got, let me make sure my doors are locked. I got the, wow, I already forgot what it was called. The smoothie that has, wow, how did I already forget the name of it? As kiwi, strawberry, and something else. I don't know if it's ginger or what. Delicious. And of course, I got a tunicado. I get my tunicado without tomato and I add cheese to it. I forgot to get a side of the hot sauce, but it's okay. Oh, there's a Trader Joe's around here. This girl's carrying two bags. 
Oh, that's right. There is. I don't think it's close by here. She looks like she's walking. I think she's walking from far. But I saw on, I think it was YouTube I was watching. This girl got the blueberry muffins from Trader Joe's. I freaking love blueberry muffins. The ones from Starbucks, the ones from, there's somewhere else I get them from. But blueberry muffins in general are, oh, this like small mom and pop uh, coffee shop that I go to sometimes, but blueberry muffins are so good. Um, so I wanted to try lunch at Trader Joe's and I see she has bags. Maybe we'll hit up Trader Joe's and get those. I also need to get milk, but I don't know if I should get it there. No, I need to go to a Target that has the rest of the stuff. Cause at the Target I went to, they didn't have the raspberry or peach syrup. They didn't have the raspberry leaf tea. They were out of the Nespresso pods too. So um, I need to go somewhere else. I'm gonna look right now to see what other targets or stores have it. I made it home. Let's see what we got. I did get the necessities. I got paper towels and I got toilet paper. And then I ended up going to, what's it called? World Market. And they did have the syrup I was looking for, but they only had it in the big size, so I ended up getting the big size. I don't even know if they sell the peach one in the smaller one, so I figured I might as well just get the big one. And I got a few other things there too. I got a hand towel for the kitchen because I'm going through way too many paper towels. It doesn't even make sense. So. I am going to use this for the kitchen whenever I wash my hands or whenever anybody washes their hands and we need something to dry our hands with. I don't know why I haven't had a kitchen towel in here, but yeah, I just got one. It's really cute. I like the design on it. Very simple, but it has a little something. Oh my gosh. So they have this whole entire fragrance section in World Market and I haven't been there in forever. I, I don't know why I don't go in there, but they have a lot of cute little home decor things it's very boho which is not really my home decor style but you can find some really good things in there as far as snacks and teas and little trinkets kind of but they i think they have bigger uh furniture too but in my opinion i feel like it's one of those places where you go to find very uh boho or more urban little trinkets anyways i found this fragrance where their incense and stuff are and their room sprays. It smells so, so, so good. It is the Seaside Mist Room Spray. So I got the room spray and I also got it in a, um, what is this? Diffuser, like this kind of diffuser. And I liked it so much that I also got it in the essential oil version to put in my essential oil diffuser because it just smelled when I smelled it from here I was like wow I need this I need my house to smell yes just like this it is very fresh perfect for springtime it just smells like fresh air and like clean not even clean laundry I don't know how to explain it but it smells incredible. So I, I, that's how you know it's good when you have to get the different types. They also had a, a candle. I didn't want a candle because I don't really burn as many candles. But yeah, I got the room spray, the essential oil, and then I got this to put in my uh, closet. So yeah, I'm gonna stick this in my closet. Hopefully it does something. I also got incense and an incense holder i've never had incense but i like how some of them smell so i got an incense holder it's just this gold holder and then it has the hole right there so i can put the incense and i got the patchouli scent because i love the way that patchouli oh, so uh cookies random so trader joe's has some like this right now for valentine's day but i took them to my mom's house 
Um, and those are, I think, raspberry, uh, but these are pomegranate hearts. Uh, they're shortbread pomegranate filled heart cookies. So I wanted to try these. I didn't end up going to Trader Joe's because it's, I'm doing way too much for the fact that it's pouring outside. Like you would think I was running a marathon or winning a contest for all the places I can go to on a rainy day. And there are a total of nine cookies in here. The one from Trader Joe's has a lot more, which for me is just too much. So I think this is a perfect amount. I saw this coffee and I wanna give it a try. Cafe de olla. So, 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 so good. It has cinnamon and brown sugar. Uh, only thing is I need to get a press or something. And the syrup also, this is the one I got. See, I didn't need this big old size, but the drink that I'm talking about that I wanna use that for is this one, the San Pellegrino Clementine and Peach. This one is good on its own, uh, but it's not as sweet, which is fine because shouldn't be having a whole lot of sugar anyway. Uh, but sometimes for a little mocktail, just to add more flavor, I wanna do maybe like a pump of the peach syrup, so. Uh, yep. And also the guy at the register was like, oh my gosh, these are so popular and a lot of people get them. And he was talking about these. These are honey spoons for when I make my tea and stuff. Uh, instead of having to pour honey in there, you just put a spoon in there and it like slowly melts into your tea. You just pop off the little plastic and it has this so you can stir it into your tea. And you have yourself a little honey spoon. Crate and barrel. I did end up finding the thing I was looking for for my coffee area. And it's this thing right here. And a lot of stores sell these, but I like the color of this one and just the simplicity. A lot of them have patterns or flowers or whatever. I like that this is more of like a walnut as opposed to a warm. Like a lot of these tend to be more like this shade or like a color like this, like an oak, oak color. And I wanted like a dark brown, like walnut one. But then I want to buy a little plant. You can kind of see it right there. I want to buy a plant and just add stuff to that little corner. I also got some new spoons. Because I have wooden spoons and I think I got them at Crate and Barrel. But I can't find them. I don't know where I put them or what happened to them. But can't find them. So I got these also walnut spoons. I got some silicone spoons, some black ones as well. And what is this? Oh, these are chip clips. I have some gold ones already, but I wanted a few more. So um, these are magnetic, so you, you can stick them onto your fridge, uh, but they're just like chrome chip clips. So that's everything from Crate and Barrel. And at Target, I got mouthwash and this cute notebook um, that I thought was nice. I love the colors on it. It's this floral notebook and it's not a planner or anything like that. It literally is just blank pages uh, just so I can write anything I need to do really quick, any to-do stuff, grocery things, video ideas, anything like that. Just cute. I love, love, love the colors so that is everything i picked up at the store this time around let me put all of this junk away because now we have a mess <laughs> So yeah, I could take my makeup off for the gym or I could leave it on. I mean, I'm not wearing a lot. It's literally just a little bit of, a little bit of, a little bit of. So <laughs> I think I'm just gonna leave it. I just popped on some lip balm uh, so my lips wouldn't look crusty. And then I'll just take my makeup off. I don't sweat a lot in the gym uh, anyway. So I'll just take it off when I get back 
and then uh, jump in the shower and all of that. This is my gym outfit. I just bought this top from Dick's Sporting Goods. It is warm. It's thin and lightweight, but it's warm enough. Like the material feels very cozy. Has pockets and it has thumb holes as well, which uh, we love that. And then um, my bra, it's not a sports bra. This is a bralette. It's just like a dark brown. And then I am wearing these leggings. I'll link them below. They're just like these brown leggings they do have like that scrunch on the butt which i don't always love but i do like that it, it kind of adds some shape so those are the leggings i'm wearing and i don't know what shoes i'm gonna wear probably just my nike free run since it's a cycling class for the yoga class they didn't require us to wear shoes so i just took my pilates socks and then i um took off my shoes but for this, we're actually gonna be cycling, so I do wanna put on some sneakers. In the meantime, I want to eat a yogurt because I haven't had lunch. I meant to make myself some lunch around two, but it's now 4.30, so I feel like the food I'm gonna make in about an hour or so is gonna be dinner food. So I'm gonna eat a yogurt really quick just to get in some quick uh, mm. protein. And then I, um, I think I'm gonna cook up some salmon and eat that before I go to the gym, like an hour or so before I hit the gym. Stretch out a little bit, do some arm workouts, and then I'll jump into the spin, spin and flow, spin and stretch class. And that'll finish me off with a little cardio. I don't like to do a lot of cardio because I'm not really trying to be lean because I'm already lean. <laughs> I'm trying to gain here. So I, I really lay off on doing a lot of cardio. I mostly do a lot of, I try to eat, do a lot of eating and a lot of lifting. And the yogurt that I'm eating is the mixed berry from this brown. Another one that I've been loving. I actually like it more than that. This ratio protein. This one has 15 grams of protein. This one has 25. Uh, and the taste, I kind of like this one better because it tastes less sour cream-ish. This one still has more of that Greek yogurt sour cream taste. This is really, really good. I should have actually had this because I haven't had lunch. Uh, but um, to get in like a good amount of protein, these have 25 grams and they taste good. And then um, for dinner, I could do salmon or I also have this Argentinian red shrimp from Trader Joe's that I can cook tonight which I cooked in my last vlog, I think. So I think I'm gonna do salmon. Um, and then as far as protein powder, I have a new one that I, I've never seen before. I, know, I don't see a lot of people talking about it, but this one I got at Whole Foods. I got a little trial size because they sell them in individual packets. So I got one just to see the taste. It's so good. I will say it's not like a plant-based protein. So if that's something that's a thing for you, then I wouldn't recommend it. But for me, like I'm not really specific on that, but I was looking at the ingredients and the ingredients on this one are so much better, it seems like, than most protein powders. Like most protein powders have a bunch of stuff in it that I can't even tell you what it is. And this one um, doesn't have crazy amount of sugar. It has one gram of sugar per serving. Uh, 25 grams of protein and um, the ingredients is a protein isolate blend whey protein concentrate natural flavors sunflower something stevia and sea salt that's it those are the ingredients and a lot of the other protein powders i have have like a lot of other gums and additives and other things in there that i don't even know what they are so just a heads up there it's gluten-free soy free rbst free and one scoop is the equivalent of three cups of whole milk or three servings of yogurt four large eggs one small chicken breast or three fourth cups of almonds so and the taste is really good it's actually not super thick and gross like especially if you throw in a banana and some cinnamon powder oh my god it tastes really good i'm not a fitness person guru nutritionist at all i'm just sharing you know what i like and what i'm using Oop, for my goals
note to self do not get pure white countertops in your forever home they almost always look dirty and need cleaning Another note to sell for my future forever home, get a sink that is deep because a sink like this, guaranteed it gets the countertop wet every single time. It splashes so bad, even when I have it on a really low setting, water gets everywhere. So when I have it on high, it's just a mess, <laughs> no matter what I do. Cycling is no freaking joke. And I knew that, but golly, I'm sweating. And I never, ever, 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 ever sweat when I work out. When I tell you, it humbles you like a lot. It definitely humbles you. It's a lot of cardio, which again, I'm not really into but it's a good workout and the music was good, but I'm just, I was dying. I was definitely taking a few little breaks here and there, but I'm about to make myself a protein smoothie uh, with the protein I showed you guys. I'm out of breath, I'm like. <sighs> I'm gonna make my smoothie. I'll show you how I uh, make it. I can't wait to take this and make a pop too. Uh, I'll show you how I make it, very simple nothing crazy so yesterday the protein smoothie i made i just did it with my blender bottle this and i just took it up but i'm going to show you how i do it in this in the blender it's honestly nothing crazy but i do like the way it tastes a lot better when i do it in the blender hold on switch all i don't know why when i have the lights under here on these the camera picks up really like a greenish yellow. Anyway, so I do a little over eight ounces because I like my smoothie to be a little more runny and I don't like the protein to be too thick. If you find that your protein smoothies are too thick or too chunky, add more liquid and it'll counteract the thickness of the protein powder. Also, this one is not like a sandy taste, like gritty, nothing. It's really good. So I just do a little under a scoop. It says to do a full scoop, but I just do a little bit less. Just because, again, I don't want it too, too, too thick. And then I'm going to do about half. Wait, like, a little, like half a frozen banana. A little more than that. Then I add cinnamon powder. I used to add strawberries and cacao, but that makes it really sweet. And this protein powder is already a little on the sweeter side, so I don't need all that for this. So you could add that. Honestly, I love protein smoothies with strawberry, but it's just entirely too sweet if i add that in my opinion if you want you can pour it in a wine glass which i do sometimes just to make it even fancier but today i'm just gonna this is i think technically a wine cocktail glass 
I promise you, if you don't like the taste of protein powder, I think you would like this one. It is pricey. Not even gonna front. It is, I wanna say, well, at Whole Foods, it was like $49.99. That's a lot for a protein powder, but I think it's worth it for at least the ingredients that I saw and the taste. So easy to drink, and in my opinion, it is really good. Sorry, I'm getting brain freeze. <clears throat> If you add ice cubes and make it nice and thick, it would taste honestly like vanilla ice cream. I think the flavor is vanilla bean. If you make this more of an ice cream thick shake, it would taste exactly like a vanilla ice cream shake. Fourth workout of the week. Done. If I knew I was going to be sweating that much in the cycling class, I would have taken my makeup off before. And this is how I manage to keep my hair straight when I shower. <laughs> 